Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the eighth part in this series where we're building a personal dashboard app using Angular. In this video, we're going to be focused on creating the note service. All right then, so let's just go and uh, go back to the code and let's go and create that service, the notes service. So, so let's do, um, um, Let's actually first create a new folder. Let's go to the app folder and let's create a new folder called shared. Okay. And shared will contain our services and our models. All right. So let's go to the terminal and let's do ng generate service. And then let's do shared slash so that it puts it inside the shared folder. And then the name of the service, which will be a uh, note. Okay. So note service, press enter. And this should create a a uh, new file called note.service.ts inside the shared folder. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go inside the note service and let's start to work on this. All right, um, before we actually work on the note service, let's actually first create the note model. So let's go uh, to the shared folder. Let's create a new file and let's create note.model.ts. Okay. All right, so let's do uh, export class note. And the note will have a title, which will be a string, and it will have a content field, which will also be a string, okay? And um, it will also have an ID, okay? Because uh, we want to, um, to be able to identify individual notes by a unique ID. And for this, we'll be using a uh, NPM package called UUID, okay? And it uh, allows us to create random uh, IDs, okay? So this is what we'll be using. Um, let's go and install this using NPM. So let's go back to our, our code and let's go to the terminal and then let's do NPM install UUID dash dash save, press enter. Okay, so now it's been installed. Um, so now we can actually go and um, import um, the function which allows us uh, to uh, create the unique ID. And if we look here in the documentation, it says we can use um, the v4 function, right? In the documentation, it says we can do it like this, right? So let's just copy this, the uh, import. All right, so let's go back to our code here and let's import, import uh, v4 as uuid v4 from uuid, okay? And uh, we can now go here and we can create a ID field uh, and it will be a string like that. And we can then go to the constructor and uh, we can go here, okay? And then inside the constructor, we can then do this.id is equal to uuid v4, like that, okay? Um, so then each object, when it's created, it will then be assigned a unique ID, okay? All right, so the next thing we can do is we can actually um, take in uh, the, um, the title and the content of the note in the constructor. So let's do title string and content string, and then we can assign this.title to the title and this.content to the content. Okay, cool. Cool, all right. Um, there is also a shorthand of, um, of doing this. We could actually not put these here uh, and instead go here and do public title and public content, all right, like that or you can make this private if you want, or um, whatever access modifier you want to use. But um, here we now are um, using this shorthand notation to say that this and this, they are both fields of this class note and their values will be passed in using the constructor, okay? And we don't actually have to do this because it's actually implying this, right? So this we don't need like that. So that is a shorthand for that. Um, 
yeah, all right, so let's actually just use this way, all right? So uh, let's go here and do that, and let's go here and do that, okay? All right, so um, let's now save this, okay? And then let's go back to the note service, and we can now um, create a notes array, okay? So notes is of type note array, and uh, this has to be imported up here, okay? And now we can actually create some methods that um, can uh, retrieve and update this notes data. So first of all, let's create a method that can uh, get notes. And this will just return um, this dot notes like that. And then we can create a method that can get a specific note and it will take in the ID of that note. So ID string, and then we can search the notes array for a note which has the ID that's been passed in. So here we can do um, this dot notes dot find. Okay, and then, okay, and then inside here we will get um, a note object, which I'm gonna call n. And then um, here we need to return a uh, true or false value, um, which determines if this is the note we want, right? So um, here we could return uh, true when uh, n dot id uh, equals uh, the id passed in into this method. Okay, so that's what we want to do. So we could do return n dot id is equal to id. Okay. Okay. So then this will um, only return true. Uh, when the ID matches um, the ID passed in, okay? Okay, so let's get rid of this comment. And uh, we can actually shorten this um, by removing these curly brackets, right? And if we do that, then we get this. And we get an error here, and we don't actually need to say return, and that's because when we have a um, one-lined arrow function like this, it's implied that this um, that uh, this value is returned, okay? So so that's what we have here, and this will actually um, return the note object that it, that it finds. Um, okay, so um, here we could do const note is equal to that, and then return note, or we could just do um, return, and then this.notes.find, like that, okay? So let's uh, get rid of that, and let's do that. Cool, all right, so let's now move on to um, adding a new note. So let's create a new method called add note, and it will take in the note object. And then here you can do this.notes.push, and then just pass in a note like that, okay? And uh, let's now go to here, and let's do update note, and it will take in the ID, and it will take in the updated fields, right? So uh, these will be the updated fields, and this hasn't got to be the whole note object, just the fields that have changed, right? So um, this will be of type partial note, okay? So um, there we go. And uh, all right, so the first thing we want to do is actually uh, get the note object that needs to be updated, right? And that's the note that has this ID. So let's do, um, uh, const note is equal to this dot get note and then pass in the ID. Okay, so now we have the note object that we want to change and we have the updated fields. So now what we can do is we can use object dot assign. Okay, and then pass in uh, the um, the target object, which will be the note object, and then pass in the sources. Uh, which can be uh, one or more source objects, okay? And um, in this case, the source object is the updated fields. Okay, so updated fields. Okay, so uh, let's save that now. Okay, and let's now go and uh, do the delete note method. And it'll take in the ID. Okay, so here, what we want to do is we actually want to... Um, find the index uh, of the note which has the ID um, 
in the array. Okay, so we want to find the index of that note. So what we can do is we could do const note index is equal to this dot notes dot find index. Okay, so it's um, pretty much the same as find as we did here, but now it will return the index. So here we want to do n n dot id is equal to id. Cool. All right. So um, cool. All right. So let's now use this note index um, to remove this note uh, from the notes array. So this dot notes dot splice and splice takes in uh, the start index and that is the note index and then the delete count which is which is the number of elements to remove and we just want to remove that one note so let's just pass in one okay and one thing to bear in mind though is um, if is if um, no note is found which has this ID then um, the find index function will then return minus one. And here we can see that it returns the index of the first element in the array where the predicate is true and minus one otherwise. Okay, so here we can just do a quick check for um, if note index is equal to minus one, then we just want to return. Okay, so then this code won't run. Okay, so then um, this will only run when the note index can be found. Okay, cool. All right, so um, let's save this now. And uh, I think we can now um, actually go to the notes view and we can actually um, change this so that it is actually um, generating the note cards dynamically based on the contents of the notes array in the service, right? So let's go and do that. Let's do that next.